Well, I'm going to try to make a uh, brass polisher out of this rigmarole here. This is a, obviously a bean cover. These are springs that came out of the washing machine to stabilize it. After they went bad, that I'll leave long pieces of right here. If, if you've ever had one of them kind of water sand sun, I think it was. Of course, they went bad like everything else in that modern junk. But anyway, and this thing is out of a, well, later I'll show you, it's out of a hospital bed. It's a vibrator thing. So, of course, this is, these springs are too short. I'm going to have to make a little frame so that it'll go through there. But I think it'll shake good enough. Most of it won't work good there because the load is right on the ground. But I'll show you how it shake probably, probably vibrate itself right off of there. You know, since I don't have any. Uh, nothing on there. Maybe we'll see what happens here. Okay. It shakes pretty good. So it gets on the. I think it'll shake pretty good if it's on the. It should have been like that. So, uh, we'll see how it works. There we go. I think that might work alright. I don't know. See. I mean, like a lot of my projects don't pan out, but I, uh, the way I did that, I guess I should have, uh, did a little more demonstration than I did. I don't know. Anyway, we, uh, I secured that vibrator with them four bolts. And I used my little nut zerk things to put the uh, strings on this. And I don't know what happened. Is, of course, I see this camera. Tripod and everything fell over a while ago, so it probably messed it up big time. But anyway, this is that framework as that vibrator came off that bed. I'm gonna try to make a, a, a what do you call it, a little lift for lawnmowers out. It's got rollers on. Anyway, this is a kind of a messed up video, as most of mine are, because I the camera just shows one bar on the power now, so it was full when I came out there. I probably messed it up and I dropped it over a while ago. But anyway, I'm getting kind of tired of these little action cams. I think I'll go back to my Canon regular camera. When I started out with, it seemed like I had less cutting. Okay, there you go. Alright, well it shut off again, see. Well, we'll see what we got. It may not be much of anything. So, it ain't done yet. i got to finish it up. So we'll see what happens when we get done. Well, I'm going to try that. I'm going to go down to the shop and make some little extensions for this because it's too close for that. So we'll go down and see what we can do on that. I'm going to try to square them off on my lathe. We'll see how that goes here in a little bit. Come back here. But nonetheless, this is basically what we're doing. So i got one more to do and then we'll get back here in a little bit. Well, first of all, that noise we're hearing back there is a... The furnace is kind of chilly here in Missouri. Got a little snow, I don't know, three inches maybe, but it wasn't, didn't stay here. Well, it's not staying anyway. Not that cold. Anyway, what this is, is we, I started to make a little bit of a, how I did it video before, and things didn't go quite right. I bought this bean cooker thing for three bucks, and uh, I'll show you a side too. What this is supposed to be is a little, brass polisher one of the vibrating jobs I don't know what I had in the first part so we'll just go ahead and start off or go, go through the old rigmarole here oh, there you I need to get a wing nut for that I need to sh shorten up this uh, shaft just a little what this is is uh, inside here they always seem to put a a cone of some kind in here so I just found this old flower pot stuck in there with a hole in it it's not perfectly straight here but it really don't matter and uh, the idea is when it shakes, I'll show you. All right, what we did here is uh, this is that thing I was talking about before. It's off that hospital bed deal. I don't know why they got a vibrator on it. Now, these springs here, they're off of a Samsung washing machine. You know, that's that machine is really all that old, but they got where it's shaking so bad, you know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't straighten up. So, we you know, buy these. They got about a three foot rod on them. But, uh, uh long goes with this deal there, hold it. And, uh, I made this little rinky dinky square base here, so it's got something to set on. And uh, so really not much to it. I haven't got a, I haven't got any media 
for years yet. So uh, we'll, we'll plug it up here. And I don't have uh, the cord kind of rinky dink too, but that's what I had, what I got. So wait a minute, let me get everything situated here. We'll see what happens. Okay. Plug this in, I'm like getting the right one. Anyway, that's the just the whole thing. As you see, we put the lid back on if you want to, and all that. Uh, most of it, when there's these little rubber mounts, they were what was with the uh, with it and everything. So what this motor got is it got its uh, out of balance uh, little weights in here, and it shakes and goes on. Okay. So anyway, that's the that's the gist of the whole thing. Not much to it. Get my wrench back out, of course. Forget that. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it works. I got what I'm thinking about doing and see if it'll work or not is uh, this is walnut season again. We've already picked up all the walnuts we're going to get, washed them, and we're letting them dry for uh, so I can crack them. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about getting some of them hulls. And I went and bought a blender, same place I got this thrift store for five bucks. It looks like a good one, you know. I mean, a lot of stuff in the thrift store, I think it's all right, but people just got tired of them and they got them a new one. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can crack some walnut hulls. If not, I'll go ahead and buy a bag of that polishing media. That stuff ain't very cheap, to tell you the truth. It was $18 a bag or something like that, which really probably ain't that bad. But, uh, I don't really want to pay that. Because in case this thing don't work, why? Then I'm stuck with a whole bag of walnut hulls. Because I've got a bunch of them here at the house anyway. Okay, I just wanted to show you about how this came together and hopefully it works. We get I'll get some put in there and I'll put some shells in and see if it cleans up. So. Alrighty, well thank you for watching and we'll see you later.